Welcome to Sweet Talk. My name's Taylor, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your very own public profile within Construction Online. First, let's establish what a public profile is. A public profile is going to be, in essence, a mini website, a single page website, that you can set up in Construction Online that's going to be the landing page or really the face of your company for your clients, your subcontractors, vendors, architects, anybody working with you through Construction Online. Your public profile is one of the most important things that you can do within Construction Online, and we recommend that you start by setting it up before you really dive into the program. The reason for that is because as you start creating projects and content, when you want to share those with your clients, your vendors, your subcontractors, other Team Link members, you won't be able to do that unless they can access your public profile in order to log into their portals. Setting up a public profile is extremely simple, but I'm going to talk you through some of the options and how you can best utilize these to take advantage of all the features that we offer. To get to your public profile setup, look on the left-hand side of Construction Online and choose the public profile link. This will take you to the public profile setup where you can choose all of the options you need to create your website. Some of you might be wondering, what happens if I already have a website? I don't need another one to take its place. I've spent a lot of time and money on this. That's no problem. You can either use this as a standalone page to send certain clients and Team Link members when they are invited to Construction Online, or as many of our clients do, you can just link this in as an additional tab or link on your website for a client login that redirects anybody looking at your website to Construction Online. The clever thing about that is that it really takes all of the Construction Online branding away from it. It looks like just an extension of your site, and it's a very professional page that you have control over that is designed for your clients and subs to log into. The first thing you're going to do when you create your public profile is choose your shortcut. This is going to be how other users can find your public profile on Construction Online, and it's really just the URL or the web address where your web page can be found. All of the URLs will start with a www.constructiononline.com slash profile, and you choose what's going to come after that to uniquely identify yourself or your company for anybody looking for you. That's really all that's required when you set up a public profile, but as you'll see in a moment, the rest of this is going to be very important to give your presentation the look and feel that you want and have a little bit more professionalism um, to your website. The next thing you're gonna do is choose a layout option. So different logos have better fits for certain options. So option one is built for more square um, or tile-shaped logos. Option two is for more banner-style logos. Um, you can see the previews of these right here. Uh, to get an idea for which one might be best for you. The next part is going to be your company logo, which is the actual logo that's going to show there. You can upload anything from your computer. Any sort of image file should be supported. And then choose the color scheme that's going to show either behind your image or across this banner row at the top. If you don't have a company logo, that's no problem. We have some preset logos that you can use based on your business type. Um, architects, attorneys, builders, consultants, general logos that you can use. They will actually fill in that spot and take the place of the logo so it's not just an empty slate. Once you've done that, you can move on to your header image. This is really going to be the banner or the top of your website, the larger image that everyone's going to see uh, most prominently when they first log in. Typically, it's going to be a great idea to showcase some of your previous works, any photos that you have of past projects that you've worked on, or if you have a really nice looking graphic of your company information or letterhead or something like that, that's a great idea to use here too. I've chosen to use a picture of the Grand Canyon. I just think it looks nice. But you do also have the option to use one of our stock images if you don't have a photo that you feel works well. Or just choose a solid color to be the header background if you want to give a little bit more flair or just keep it kind of simple on your public profile. Moving on from that, you've got the uh, profile information on your public profile. This is a lot of your basics, so of course your website, your phone, contact information, but it also gives you a chance to tell the client or the subcontractor or whoever's looking at your site a little bit about yourself, kind of your brag and swag page if you will, or a great place to put a mission statement or a company vision. Let people know what you're all about. Moving on from there, you've got somewhat similar information here, your credentials. So. You can show a bulleted list here of all of the awards that you've won, um, the projects that you've undertaken, anything you feel like people should know to give yourself credibility, and then your service areas as well. So these are gonna be the geographical areas which you will serve or which you will do projects in so that people looking for service know if they are accessible to you. 
This is a great idea because the public profiles that we have on Construction Online, uh, what you may not realize is they are highly searchable on Google. Many, many people will find this if they search for your company name or even for construction companies in Auburn, Alabama, for example. They come up very highly on search results on Google. And so you might not know it, but you might have dozens or hundreds or potentially thousands of people viewing this public profile page, getting a feel for who you are without you ever touching base with them if your public profile is not set up properly. Now, if it is set up properly, you'll know it because these dozens or hundreds of people that are viewing your site or finding you through Google search will be coming to you as leads and you'll have new jobs coming in over and over and over again. So it's really important to put together this profile info. Give yourself a little bit of credibility. So show off the awards that you've won. Tell people why they want to do business with you. That's really the overall point of the public profile. And you'll see as we continue to move down here, we've got some additional information that's really going to boost confidence in you and your company as you do that. Um, one such example is client testimonials. So great place to show people the success that you've had, the th nice things that other people have to say about you, previous clients, coworkers, anything like that, um, reasons why your company is one that they want to do business with. You can add as many testimonials as you want to. Just go ahead and put in the quote, choose the author, and you'll see over here it kind of formats it this way uh, with the quote and then the author listed there. You can edit or remove these at any time but it's great to get some testimonials in there so people know that you've worked with real clients, that they've been satisfied, and that you're gonna do a great job. The project galleries are kind of the same thing, just a little more visual element. It lets people see the work that you've done, um, especially if you do some really nice custom homes or some beautiful commercial buildings. Um, this is a great way to just show off your work. I know sometimes it's a little more mundane if you're doing um, you know, highways or industrial work or something like that but it's still a great way to show off the quality of your work and let people know what you do. Project galleries can be added as many as you want to. You can add as many photos as you'd like. Choose which one's gonna be the default image so people can see um, kind of a great idea of what you're working on, even at a glance. And now that's something that um, you have full control over in gallery view. The last two things here are gonna be the professional organizations that you're associated with. So we have a ton of different organizations that our clients are associated with. If you have one that you like to show off that we don't currently have here, let us know. We're happy to add it to our professional organizations and you can go ahead and show that off on your profile as well. And then finally, the links to your social media pages. Um, as everyone knows, social media is really a huge part of communication and even lead generation at this point. Um, Twitter, Facebook, you know, LinkedIn, Hows, all of those profiles are ways that people generate leads and find out more about your company and really stay connected to you even as current clients. So go ahead and add your Facebook pages, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, let people know how they can stay in touch with you and you'll be surprised at the results that you get just by people browsing your page. So once you've done all that, everybody's ready to see the final product I'm sure, you can go ahead and preview your changes to make sure it looks the way you want it to. And based off of all the information I've put in, you can see that all of that really comes together in a very nicely formatted way. We've got our header image at the top, our logo and kind of background colors that I've chosen, contact info and social media links over here. And then you've got really the bulk of it, the about me or about us, your project galleries, client testimonials and professional organizations, all giving a really heavy dose of credibility if you do this right to your clients, subcontractors, anybody looking for service. You'll also notice that this doubles as your client login. So again, as I mentioned, public profile is critical because without it, your clients and subcontractors can't log into their portals in order to access the information that you share with them. Um, in order to learn a little bit more about the client link and team link logins, go ahead and check out our sweet link videos that we have on their experience with construction online. Um, but other than that, that's gonna do it for the public profile. Cannot stress enough how important this is or how crucial this is to your success with construction online. Go ahead and do this. You will not regret it one bit. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk today. If you're interested in some additional topics, check out the other videos and webinars that we have. And thanks again for stopping by.